I've always been somebody that likes to follow uh, interesting questions. And that uh, initial uh, work in Liz's lab was really a curiosity-driven question. How can uh, the cell maintain its chromosome ends when we know that they should be getting shorter? So it was a puzzle that we needed to solve. But it was an important puzzle <laughs> uh, because all cells need to, uh, to solve this problem of uh, replicating the chromosome ends. Uh, but I feel like I've been really fortunate uh, because um, at every step then uh, along the way, I've been able to follow my curiosity uh, and see where uh, the next step left, uh, the next step led. Um, so, for instance, I started off working on uh, this enzyme telomerase and trying to understand how the enzyme actually functions. What are the different components? Can we uh, find out uh, the mechanism by which this enzyme operates? And then uh, the question came up about um, cells and uh, if the telomeres are shortening every time, what would happen to cells? Uh, and I got then into this field of cellular senescence, which is um, the cells can divide a certain number of times and then they stop dividing. And it turns out that the short telomeres play a role in that. So that was a, a, a very interesting uh, discovery. Uh, and that then led to the next question, which is, if the cells normally stop dividing, why don't cancer cells stop dividing? That's a cell type that has to divide many times. So then our interest went into the area of cancer research. And I was able to follow that uh, because it's very nice uh, to be able to be in this kind of environment where you can just do science. And as long as you're learning something interesting and you can get funded, <laughs> and I've been funded continuously by the National Institutes of Health, and so that's been uh, very, very nice to then be able to follow uh, the next steps along the way in terms of uh, what the most interesting question was uh, to me. At the time, there were really two um, main uh, hypotheses for how telomeres may be uh, elongated, uh, that there could be a um, recombination-based model or this hypothetical uh, enzyme. And I just thought it was like an exciting puzzle uh, to, to see which might be true. And so I chose one because I was working with Liz, which was to uh, look for uh, an enzyme which might lengthen telomeres. Um, and uh, it was really just fun to be part of solving uh, that puzzle. Of course, it could have been possible that there was another mechanism that, that lengthened telomeres, and it's not clear um, how long one would then uh, keep looking for something without uh, any success. Uh, luckily, in my case, it was about nine months of trying various things and then uh, had some success. Uh, but yes, there are a number of uh, dead ends in science, um, and uh, you may be doing uh, experiments along one track, and either technically the experiments don't work, or uh, you get something some slightly wrong. Uh, and that's what's really important about the whole scientific process, is that it's really about what the, re what the results are. Um, and either you or somebody else will be able to determine whether or not uh, the results of your research uh, are correct. And so being able to uh, let go of ideas uh, and move forward, I think, is just as important as having good new ideas.